live again here at the JW Solar USA. Folks, it has been a while, over two weeks now approximately, I didn't make any video. Um, like I said, as long as your system is running perfectly, hey, you don't have nothing to worry about, so there is no point of making video. So that's the sad part when you have lithium batteries and your solar system is working, off-grid solar is working, you don't have any problem and there is no reason for you to make a video unless you have something to talk about. But today, I found something to talk about, okay? A few days ago, I was just sitting down doing nothing. So I was like, oh, check my vendors and whatever. And I happened to find this thing here. Guys, it's an Outback Flexware 500 DC enclosure. You can see right here is a, a used one. Uh, they use it for um, just a set up a display model. Yeah, you can see it has it comes with the breakers. You even have some cobwebs here. So, yeah, you can see the thing right there. You can tell the system PV setup and whatever. And uh, is uh, all the registration right there. But guys, right there. Sorry, I didn't look at the camera. So everything is here, and you can see. I have um, a breaker right here for the PV array, which is a green one. Okay, it says uh, PV. Okay, so I have to open it up and see how everything is. A 60 amp here is a 70 amp here is a 175 amp right there. So guys, like I've been saying, <clears throat> I was trying to finish up my um, Outback uh, setup, which you guys. Uh, I've seen me going through back and forth, back and forth, which the Magnum has already got everything done. So here is the Flexware 500 uh, FW 500 DC enclosure from Outback. So I got a, a good deal on that. Um, my vendor decided to say, hey, uh, check this out. You know, if you decide you want any of this stuff and we have so, 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 so things, so I was like, hey. Say, okay, let's see, check it out. So, it's used, um, set up, just a setup they, they, they have for display. And you can see this giant, giant uh, um, um, breaker, 175. And it's a, say, a positive boss bar and a ground boss bar right there. And this one's going to act as a negative ground right there with a the shunt. So guys, you've seen my video, you've seen the Flexware 500, the other one I got before. And this is the DC side, I can able to use the AC, it's just uh, changing the breakers right here. Um, but this is for the DC, and it has the white shunt right there, um, sorry, um, bus bar, which is the, uh, the neutral. And you have the uh, red, and we have the... The ground right there sorry label you can see it so i have some breakers here you can see the wires are chopped off they cut them off and guys the knockout so i have the uh these guys here for the breakers so this is how it looks like so i'm gonna have a perfect clean setup now with my outback it's not bad and um i didn't pay a lot of money for this so I can take it so they just use it for display model and that's what it is for and uh, get a knockout right here and you can see whatever um, it says and a knockout down there I just decided to show you guys but since I have the uh, um, the FNDC Fleckness DC, so it uses a three shunt. Guys, I already have a shunt there. I already have another shunt on the system running right now. So it's gonna be shunt A, shunt B, shunt C. So I can able to um, do a lot of stuff uh, I wanted to do before. And guys, stay tuned for that because I'm gonna be using any of these shunts for my batteries if I want to. And if I want, I can put a solar ray, a ray one or a ray two and maybe a wind generator or maybe solar three of them three shunts maybe solar 
array, wind, and hydro, whatever you want to do. So you can have three shunt to monitor into the FlexNet DC. This is the F, the Flexware 500 DC enclosure made by Outback Power Systems. So I just decided to show you guys. This is what it is, live from the command center of the JW Solo USA. I've been gone for a while, but guys, I'm back. So just, I don't have anything to talk about. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the video coming up on this device. And uh, we're going to be doing a good install with this, and um, you like it. It takes time, you know. Not in a hurry to do stuff, because if I get this done really fast, or... I might have to find something else to do, but it's, uh, it's winter here, so check it out. Stay tuned. Bye for now. Like and subscribe.